All right, let's go ahead and get warmed up. So go ahead and pull your knee to your chest. Two more. Good, um, we're gonna make hip circles. So bring one knee up and then out to the side and then rotate that foot up at the back and come down. Try and keep the rest of your body stable. Okay, we'll do one more on this side. Good one. Two. Really try and make those big hip circles. And the last one. Okay, go ahead and pull up the insides of your foot. We got one person. Hi, Natasha. Good to see you. We're just getting warmed up. All right, let's do two more of those guys. Good. Next thing is going to be very good side. So kick one leg up, kick the other leg. More of a lift than a kick. Either work. Let's do two more. Good. Spread your feet pretty wide. Grab for either your toes or the front of your shoes. We're going to come into a deep squat as low as you feel comfortable. And then just bring our bottom up. Keep our hands down. Wherever you are, you do still want your knees to track along with your toes. Don't let those knees cave in. Okay, let's do one more. Good, come on up to standing. Um, we're gonna do some Cossack's lunges next. So spread your feet pretty wide. We're gonna lunge into one side, and then my toes are gonna lift up off the ground on the other. I'll come back to center and then do the same thing on the other side. So put that straight, you're gonna rotate that toe off the ground. We'll go for 10, ready, set, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Go ahead, shake that out. Um, we're gonna warm up our wrists a little bit today because we're actually gonna be on our wrists a fair amount. So come into tabletop position and you wanna shift forward a little bit so you're putting weight on your wrist. And then with your elbow pits, I want you to think about rotating them out as much as possible and then in as much as possible. We'll just go between those two. Then trying to find the end points. Go ahead, bring your hands and your fingers will point back towards your feet and then we're just going to lean back until we feel a stretch on the insides of our forearms and then you can either rock in and out of that stretch or you can just hold it it's totally your choice sometimes i like to rock side to side when i'm doing this one too kind of gets different parts of the wrist um, if at any point today your wrists are bothering you, you can do this wrist release. You bring the backs of your hands together, push your elbows down towards the earth. It's a really nice counter stretch for any time where we're on our hands and our hands are flexed like this. We're going to go ahead and get into our circuit. Um, it's kind of a combination of uh, low impact with a little bit of jumping. Most of it, though, is going to be um, pretty low impact. We're going to go for 40 seconds with 20 seconds rest. We'll try and get through three times. Let's see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do 
is just an inchworm. We'll walk our hands out to a push-up position. No push-up needed. And then walk our hands back. Okay? So let's go ahead and start. Ready, set, go. You can always do this on fists too if it bothers your wrists. Ten more seconds. Good, and rest. Okay, next thing we're doing is called a wide push-up. When I do a wide push-up, I want my hands to be pretty wide so that when I bend at the elbows, my elbows stay over my wrists. And then I actually rotate my hands out so they're almost a, a 90 degree turn like this. I'll show you guys from the front. Here's the demo. I spread really wide. You can do this on your feet as, or on your knees as well. And then I'm gonna come down and back up, okay? We're gonna go for 40 seconds with that one. Feel free to start on your toes and then go down to your knees. I might have to do that. Let's see how it goes. Ready, set, go. We're halfway. Ten more seconds. And rest. Good. Okay, next one, you'll come on up to standing. We're going to bring right foot is going to come forward. We're going to come into a reverse lunge, come to stand, squat, and then we'll reverse lunge with the other foot. Okay? So it's like a reverse lunge, except there's a squat in the middle. We'll go for 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. Reverse lunge with one leg, come on up. Squat, reverse lunge with the other leg. Fifteen more seconds. Good, and rest. Okay, um, we got a couple more. This next one, you're going to start in a quadruped position. So, I also call this beast position. Um, we'll come up, knees off the ground, and then we're going to I'm going to show you from the front. We're going to tap one shoulder, tap the other shoulder, and without moving our knees, we're going to tap one knee, tap the other knee, okay? We'll go for 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. One shoulder, tap the other, tap one knee, tap the other. Fifteen more seconds. And rest. Good. Okay, um, next thing is going to, I call it a reduced burpee. It's going to be a burpee except for no push-up and no jump, okay? So you'll squat down. Put your hands down, jump your feet back, jump your feet forward, and then come to standing, okay? If you don't want to jump, you can always step, one foot back, step, other foot forward, okay? Um, go on for 40 seconds, ready, set, go. 
So squat, hands down, feet back, feet forward, squat. Ten more seconds. And rest. Good. Okay, we got two more. This next one, you're going to come into a squat. We're going to take one lateral step, two lateral steps. Squat jump or squat to calf raise. One lateral step, two lateral steps. Squat jump. Okay, ready, set, go. more seconds. Good. Rest. Okay, last one in the circuit is going to be a combo move. You'll be in a push-up position. You can always do this on dumbbells if you need to, if it hurts your wrist. Push-up position. We're going to lift left arm straight forward, lift right arm straight forward, and then we're going to rotate one side rotate the other side, okay? We are doing this for 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. We're halfway. Ten more seconds. Good, we got a minute rest. Grab some water, grab some water. Oh man. The hit worked out so hard I can't even hold up to my water bottle. All right, guys, so that was our first round through. This next round is going to be a lot more strict with the 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Um, I'll still demo the exercise in those 20 seconds, uh, but probably just not give as much explanation. All right, in about 10 seconds... We're gonna go back to that inchworm. Here's a demo of that inchworm. Walk my hands out to push up. Walk my hands back. All right. Three, two, one, go. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Next thing we'll do are those wide push ups. So hands wide, fingers pointed about 90 degrees away from you. We're going to start that in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest, good. Okay, next thing is gonna be that reverse lunge to squat to reverse lunge. All right, we'll start that in about 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one, go. We're halfway. Ten seconds. Good, and rest. Okay, next thing is gonna be those shoulder taps to knee taps when we're in the quadruped position. So here's a demo. Tap one shoulder, tap the other, tap one knee, tap the other. All right, we're starting those in five, four, three, two, one. Go. We're halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is that re uh, reduced burpee. It's a burpee with no push up and no jump. We're starting that in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Again, you can always step your feet back. We're halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest, good. Okay, next thing we'll do are those two lateral steps into squat jump. And then we'll do the other side in five, four, three, two, one, go. Remember, you can always squat to calf raise. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, good. Okay, last thing I'll demo for you. You'll do forward reach, forward reach, rotation, rotation. Okay, for 40 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. Ten 
second. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're going to go for 50 seconds rest. No, we'll go for a minute. I lied. Woo. Hope you guys are doing well. Drink some water, try and get your heart rate down. Right, our break is about halfway over. So, since this is the third round, I'm just going to say the exercise. If you don't remember what it is, just watch me for the first couple of reps and then just jump in at your own time. We are going to start with inchworms in about 10 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. We're halfway. Ten seconds. Oh, rest. <laughs> I was like, we're going to a minute. <laughs> All right, next thing we'll do are those wide push-ups. And five, four, three, two, one, go. Pace yourself on these. We're going for 40 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Going to the modified. No shame. Only work. Five, four, three, two, one. Good rest. All right. Next thing we'll do is that reverse lunge into squat to reverse lunge. Starting that in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're halfway. Starting those in about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Seconds. And rest. Good. Next thing we'll do are those 
Reduce speed burpees. Whew. Almost done, guys. You got it. We'll start those in about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Twenty more seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, good. All right. We're gonna go to those two lateral steps to squat jumps in about ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Stay low the whole time. Ten more seconds. And rest, good. All right, last one is gonna be that. Frontal raise, frontal raise, plank push, plank rotation, plank rotation. Last thing. Three. Two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good, straight. Don't even think about it. Straight into 15 squat jumps. Last thing. One, two. Don't think about it. Three, four, five. Get after it. Let's go, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Good. Nice work. All right.